Fantastic Tom Hanks. So, wow. Thank you. Thank you. That was an extra extraordinary story you just told me of uh, the president's classified information. That? Unbelievable. And now you understand if you repeat that on your show, yeah. there'll be a black van showing up at your house. Yeah. There's always a black van showing up at my house, though. <laughs> That's how I get to work in the morning. Is, is it the one with the, the flames painted on the side of it with oh, the yeah, sunset yeah. thing mm -hmm. on it? And it's, no, 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 it says imagine... afternoon delight on the side. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Hey, if that van's rocking. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, uh, you've done something kind of interesting to me a couple of times. Okay. Uh, you, have, uh, you have once again purchased the White House Press Corps uh, their own espresso machine. Yes, yes, I did that. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and this was. This was. Do you mind if I read this? Show Go this? Go ahead. You sure. sent this I note sent along that. to the White House Press Corps. Is this at the, the White House Press Room there where they all it's hang in out? The back, yeah. The back it's there? In the back, yeah. This is, says, to the White House Press Corps, keep up the good fight for truth, justice, and the American way, especially for the truth part, Tom Hanks. <laughs> well, that. that <laughs> by the way, that, that was by. Uh, that's by uh, Bill. Uh, uh, that, that, that is a Pulitzer, a Pulitzer Prize winning. Uh, 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 drawing by, uh, oh, jeez, am I, I'm blanking on the name. Um, Bill Elder? Bill uh, who? Yeah, 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 the great uh, uh, World War II uh, uh, cartoonist. Yeah, I've done that for, uh, I've done that for Democrats and Republican administrations mm -hmm. because those poor bastards need coffee. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were there. I think this president might be keeping them up anyway. Certainly on their toes, because you don't know what's going to happen. Well, no, I, I have a feeling the problem now is there's an awful lot of uh, spit coffee on people's laps. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? I think a lot of that's A little bit of that, yeah. That might, that might be happening there. So, when did you... Go well, the, the, this started because the first time we ever went, uh, my, my kids were little and we had, a, we had a tour of the White House. And they take you down there. If, there's, if nothing's going on, like if the president is not there, you can almost go anywhere you want. <laughs> yeah. uh, and they take you down and you get to stand at the podium and pretend you're pointing sure. at something. And, uh, and yet, even though the president was not there, there were, there were about six staffers or reporters and technicians in the back of the, of the White House press room like this. And we said, uh, you guys work here? And they said, every single day. <laughs> I said, the, press, the, the, the president's not even here. Why do you have to be here? And they said, in case of nuclear war. <laughs> you know, say something happens. And then we saw they had this old Mr. Coffee that was all, that was all scaggy and whatnot. I said, buddy, guys, I'm going to be, uh, you might just be getting a uh, brand new cap cappuccino machine from perhaps a mild-mannered mild reporter from a great metropolitan newspaper wow. who, disguised as Clark Kent, fights a never-ending battle for truth, <laughs> justice, and the American <laughs> way. I, you know, I'm a sucker, but I actually, when I was a kid, I took that to heart, that truth, justice, and the American way was something that, you know, you kept up a never-ending battle for. I agree. So, I agree. Uh, and people do give their lives to Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for rewarding my. Well, speaking of the American way, speaking of the American way, you got this new movie here called The Circle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, with the lovely and talented Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Um, what is. Okay. It's about sort of social media and surveillance. What, what actually happens in the movie? Who are you and uh, what? Happens? Well, if you, t if you took Twitter, YouTube, Google, um, uh, Instagram, and Apple and jammed them all into one company, uh, they would do probably one of two things. Um, explode because of their own self-importance, or, or a, attempt to dominate all of the world as we know it. And I, I play the guy who, for wonderful altruic, altruistic reasons, wants to improve the human condition and sets about doing it by way of this, uh, this uh, social media, internet, uh, computer company called, uh, called The Circle. And it all makes wonderful sense. And, and people get, like, cameras that uh, they can... They put get, on their body. They, they get uh, things they wear on their wrists that can keep track of their heartbeat. They, 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 get, they get pads that have, uh, they could send messages on. <laughs> they, they, they're able to like send like kooky photos and, and nutty riddles to people on the other side of the world. It's, it's the scariest, goofiest, dystopian version of the future you're ever going to come across. But who would pay for that? I don't know. Who would pay for that? I have no idea. There's games and things like that you can play. And, uh, and it, it's, uh, it's funny, Dave Eggers, who is a great novelist, everybody know Dave? Yeah, yeah. Dave. 
He wrote this thing in 2013. Now, usually in the realm of science fiction or reality fiction, things like that, a difference between what you think is going to happen four years ago and what really goes is like eight miles wide. There's, yeah. if they're not remotely e e correct in any way, shape, or form. I believe Dave uh, put a hex on us all and traveled in a time machine to see what it's going to be like because he captured it four years ago. Well, in, in the scene that we're about to see here, I think Emma Watson has been caught by this technology sneaking yes. into your office. She, uh, she had to be rescued from, uh, from a precarious position that she was at illegally, and we know about it. Okay. Jim? And now that I know your secret, do you feel better or worse? Better. Relieved, actually. I am a believer in the perfectibility of human beings. When we are our best selves, the possibilities are endless. There isn't a problem that we cannot solve. We can cure any disease and we can end hunger and without secrets, without the hoarding of knowledge and information, we can finally realize our potential. I like the tone. You like that? We've got to take another break here. And we'll be right back with more Mr. Tom Hanks. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. more. Yeah.